Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my memory spread and this is for the week of July 1st through July 7th and this is going to be my first week in my brand new Erin Condren planner. I did do kind of a flip through of the planner in my last haul that I just uploaded so if you want to see more of the planner um, definitely check that out although I'm sure there's lots of videos out there um, going through what the planner entails but anyways this is my very first week in this planner so I'm really excited and it also happens to be my birthday week so I have a really gorgeous birthday kit for this week I was actually really torn about what kit to use for this week because not only was it my birthday but it was also the 4th of July and then for most of this week I was in Hawaii so I wanted to use um, some combination of like a birthday a 4th of July and like a tropical themed kit but of course that does not exist so I decided to go for a birthday themed one because this was my 30th birthday so I felt like it was kind of a big deal and definitely a milestone um, so really quickly, I want to show you guys the kit that I'll be using. This is from Let's Make It Sparkle, and this is the foiled version of this kit. She also sells a non-foiled version, which is a little cheaper, but you don't get all the pretty uh, foil details. So here we have the eight full boxes. And then on this page, we have the date covers, the date dots, a Monday through Sunday tracker, and then the bottom washi, which I think is so pretty. On this page, we have the ombre heart checklists. Here we've got the little things, and then we have eight half boxes here. And then on this page, okay, it's upside down, we have the headers, we have some washi strips, some flags, and then the smaller and longer strips are kind of like bottom washi, but not quite that long. So I think I might use them as just regular boxes just to pull them in. And then here we have another foiled sheet. As you can see, I'm gonna do a little wiggle. We've got some deco pieces, some circle icons, texts, um, some scallop labels, flags, and then a movie marquee and a weekend banner, forgot to mention. Um, so yeah, it's a full kit. I did want all the elements of this kit so so that I could have as many stickers to work with as I could for this special week. So yeah, I wanna get started. I have been looking forward to planning this week. It was definitely a really fun week, so a lot going on. And yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started um, by placing down the bottom washi. All right, you guys, I have to be honest. This was one of the hardest and most frustrating spreads that I've ever done um, that I can remember. I think a large part of it is because the new planner is like designed so differently. It was really difficult for me to figure out how to work with it. And also I was just being extra picky with this week because um, there was so much going on and I wanted it to be perfect. So I think just placing a really high expectation on myself made this really difficult. So I actually got so frustrated that I only planned half of it and then I had to take a break for a few days Days before I felt like I could come back and finish the rest of the spread. So the first thing I did was put down the bottom washi, which just seems simple enough, but later on I realized I wanted to pull in the Simply Gilded Bow Washi, so that part was a huge struggle, but we'll definitely get there. And then for my sidebar, because that giant monthly design did not match the color of my kit this week, I decided to white out the entire thing and I just placed the full box where it normally would have been in the previous Erin Condren planner. Because I still wanted it to say July at the top, I decided to write it on a scrap piece of paper. I think this was one of my receipts from a sticker order that I placed. I brush lettered the word July, and then I cut it out and glued it on top of the full box. And then I added that piece of crown deco next to it, and I actually really love how this part turned out. So I'm thinking that this is probably something I'll do when the huge monthly design doesn't match my kit. I then placed down all the date covers and pulled in some gold foil date dots. These are from Tagami Fox. I just got those um, recently and shared them in my last haul. And then I moved on to the rest of my sidebar. The first thing I do is place down a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi. This is the thinner version. And this is when I realized, oh, I forgot to pull it in at the bottom. Um, but I decided to finish building my sidebar first. I found this really gorgeous foiled habit tracker and that is from a sampler that I got from Avenue K Design. And then underneath that, I put down a flag that came in the kit. I found this gold foiled bow checklist in my leftovers collection. So I decided to pull that in to mark my happy moments. I then whited out the calendar at the bottom and then I used a little things with the Monday through Sunday box from the kit to track my dinners. This is when I decided to add in the Simply Gilded Washi. And again, I was having so much trouble doing this because it was really hard to see like where the bottom washi was supposed to start because in the old planner, there was like a definite space where the boxes ended. Whereas on this planner, it was like all continuous. So it was just really hard for me to gauge like where to put it down. So I think for the future, if I'm planning to layer washi strips again, I will definitely work from the bottom up. So I'll put down the bottom strip first and that that way I'll be able to gauge better how much space I have left. 
I wrote in the headers of my sidebar and pulled in this gold foiled meal icon from Samantha May Sticks, and then I decided to redo the Simply Gilded Washi on this side of the planner because I felt like it looked really bad from how many times I was like lifting it up and everything. So um, I just replaced it with a fresh piece of washi. Once I'm done with that, I finally move on to Monday. So first I created a pink header from that long strip in the kit, and then I placed this gold foiled star header on top of that. That is from Tagami Fox. The first thing I marked on Monday was that we checked out of our Airbnb and I used a gold foiled flag from the kit to mark that. Um, we were still in Hawaii on this day and we were heading to another part of the island. We then went to our friend's hotel and spent some time by the pool. So I used a strip of washi from the kit and the pool day sticker is from Lexi Kylie Design. I then decided to make a checklist to mark the next places that we went because I wanted to condense all that information. So I placed down a strip of washi and layered that gold foiled remember sticker on top that is from Rose Color Days. And then one of the places we went to was a brewery. So I pulled in this beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I then put a full box down at the bottom, but then I realized that I think my bottom washi was sitting a little bit too high, so it was taking up so much space and I needed as much room as I could have to plan out my days because I was like doing so much every day. And so I lifted up that washi for like the 10th time and just basically scooted it down like a millimeter so that I'll have a little more room. In the remaining space, I pulled in this heart. I think that came in the kit and I brush lettered Kihei because that was the next city um, on Maui that we were going to be visiting and staying at. And then I pulled in this gold foiled quarter box. I think that's from Nikki plus three. And I use that to mark that we went to the big beach and we watched the sunset that night, which was lovely. And then on top of the full box, there was like a little bit of space. Um, I pulled in this beer girl sticker from Kina Prince to mark um, where we got some beers that night and then had a late night dinner. That was it for Monday, so moving on to Tuesday, I first put down the Today header and I pulled in a scallop label that came in the kit with a cinnamon roll sticker from Plans with Vanessa. It was part of her desserts sheet and um, I marked that we went to the Cinnamon Roll Cafe that morning to grab some breakfast and of course it was super amazing. Um, I then put down a half box with a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that we spent a good chunk of time at the beach that day. We then went and grabbed some lunch, so I put that on a little things and then I used another gold foiled meal icon from Samantha May Sticks. I put down a full box under that and then I used a strip of these simply gilded washi. I decided to pull it in every other day starting from the sidebar because it's so pretty but I also didn't want it to be like too overwhelming if I used it every day. Um, underneath that I used a little things with a gold foiled heart from Hazel Sticker to mark that we went to a bar that was next to our Airbnb and we actually made friends with some locals who were hanging out in there and they were super nice. They gave us some recommendations of great places that we could check out. So for dinner that night we went and checked out one of the spots that they recommended because um, they had like this one beer that you could only get in Hawaii so of course we definitely wanted to try it out and it was so good and I used a pizza sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that because that's what we ended up eating for dinner. Then moving to Wednesday, I first put down the full box at the top and then I use this really pretty gold foiled divider from Samantha May Sticks to um, just add a little gold foil to that area. And then I used a little things with a bread icon from Hazel Sticker to mark that we got breakfast at Maui Bread Co. that morning. And then I decided to work from the bottom up because I needed to know how much space I had to mark everything I wanted. Um, I actually had to eliminate some of the things that we did because I simply didn't have enough space to fill them in in my planner. So um, working from the bottom really allows me to see like what I can include. So anyways, on that two heart checklist, I just marked some places that we went and those were some of the recommendations from the guys that we had met the day before. Those places were so good. We got some noodles and some poke, so um, it was perfect. And I used a Coffee Monsters Co. meal icon to mark that. We then went back to that bar by our Airbnb and got some drinks before we went to dinner. So I used a Little Things with a beer icon from Hazel Sticker. Before dinner, we actually went and watched the sunset again at the beach, which was so beautiful. And to mark that, I pulled in a gold foiled bow from Clever Gal Crafts. And then I used that half box to mark that we got dinner with our friends that night. They actually drove down to where we were staying. So we got to hang out with them for a bit that night, which was really fun. And to mark that, I used a deco piece from the kit. 
Then moving to Thursday, I first started by placing down a simply gilded washi strip at the top, and then I placed down a half box with this gold foiled banner that's from the Avenue K Design Sampler. And Thursday was actually the 4th of July, so I pulled in this Independence Day sticker that is from Chic Blossom Prints. I bought um, a sheet of her like foiled holiday stickers, which are really perfect, and I scooted up the banner a little bit so that the text sticker would fit. I then placed down a Little Things with a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that we went to Maui Bread Co. again and grabbed some breads to eat by the beach and it was such a lovely view. And then I used a bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark that we checked out of our Airbnb because we were heading out of Hawaii that night. I placed down a strip of washi at the bottom. I think initially I was going to start from the bottom again, but then I decided not to, so um, I moved back to the middle. I cut down a strip of washi to make it a header size, and then I placed another one of those foiled um, star headers on top. That's from Tagami Fox. And then I put down a three heart checklist and a half box. On the three heart checklist, I just marked some places that we went that day, and one of them was getting cookies at Honolulu Cookie Company, um, which their cookies are shaped like pineapples, so I thought it was so perfect to pull in this gold foiled pineapple sticker from Avenue K Design. On the half box, I marked that we did happy hour with our friends again. Um, so I used a drink sticker, I think that's from the sticker party, and the happy hour text sticker is from Paper and Milk. We then went and grabbed a quick dinner before we had to head to the airport. Um, so I used a strip of washi for that and another gold foiled meal icon from Samantha May Sticks. And then to mark our flight home, I pulled in this airplane sticker, which I believe was from the kit. And I was so sad because I wish I had more time there. For Friday, I started by placing down a full box at the bottom because I already knew that's where I wanted it. And then moving back to the top, I first put down a Today header with a Little Things underneath that. The gold foiled bow is from Clever Gal Crafts. And then I put down this gold foiled flag with a family time sticker that I found in my leftovers collection book um, to mark that we spent some time with my family. My parents, my sister, and my cousin were all visiting and hanging out. So it was just really good to see them. I think I haven't seen my cousin in like eight years or something. So um, it was definitely great catching up with her and then above the full box I put down a little things to mark that we went to the jacuzzi that night um, like after dinner and then I moved back to the remaining space I put down a strip of washi and then cut up a four heart checklist to mark some of the places that we went we had like a major eating and drinking fest that day um, the gold foiled remember sticker is from rose color days and we went and got boba we got Lee sandwich and then we went to a brewery and a meadery so um, it was a really fun day but definitely packed with lots of food and drinks the boba sticker is from plans with Vanessa, and then the wine sticker i think is from sunset sticker co I cut off a small piece of the full box because I realized I wanted a little more room and then I scooted that jacuzzi sticker down just a little bit so that I could place down the gold foiled bow sticker from White Deer Stationery to mark where we went for dinner that night. Moving to the weekend, I decided not to use the weekend banner this week, so instead I just started Saturday by placing down the full box that says Birthday Queen because Saturday was my birthday, and then I put down that gold foiled quarter box from Nikki Plus 3, and I wrote in Dirty 30 because I just turned 30, and it's just like so crazy to me that I'm already entering the next decade. I mean, my 20s just went by like so fast, but it was definitely really fun while it lasted. Um, so initially I put down this um, present sticker from Mandy Dreams, and then I I put down a few little things to hold um, some spaces of where I wanted to mark things. The balloon stickers I put down I think is from Toffee Bananas. I think that one is so cute. And then I kept moving things around to make space for everything that I wanted to mark. But as you can see, there's just not enough room for everything. So um, eventually I lifted up the present sticker and I used this gold foiled heart from Stella Bow Sticker Co. instead to mark that I opened the presents. And then on the little things, I put down a car sticker from Hello Petite Paper to mark that my boyfriend's parents actually came into town to celebrate my birthday with me as well so that was really nice our parents got to hang out and they chatted for like ever so it was really a good time for everyone on the half box, I brush lettered the restaurant where we went to celebrate for dinner. So it was like my family and my boyfriend's family together. And then afterwards, I went out to the bars with some of my friends to celebrate. So um, I actually switched the side of the balloons because I didn't want all of the icons to be on the right hand side. I wrote down the names of the places that we went and then at the very end of the night we went to Del Taco at like 3 a.m. of course and so to mark that I used a taco sticker from Plans with Vanessa. I then realized that I forgot to use a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi on Saturday and I was like alternating the days that I was using it so I decided not to mark opening presents and pulled in that washi instead. 
Then moving to Sunday, I placed down this header and I think it was actually a full box that I cut into like a header size. And then um, I used that gold foiled heart that I lifted up from Saturday to mark that one of my friends had actually slept over the night before. So I said goodbye to her in the morning because she had to leave pretty early. And then I pretty much just relaxed for the morning, which was really nice. I just needed some downtime because this week was like so busy and so much like go, go, go. Um, so initially I used this like relaxing girl on a couch sticker, but I think the pink didn't match as well as I wanted it to. I know I was being so picky. So then I pulled in this lazy girl sticker from Little Star Plans. I then put down a little things to mark that I made some noodles for lunch and then I used a full box underneath that. We went to Target to grab some things and initially I put down a gold foiled flag that was from the kit and this Target trip sticker was from Paper and Milk but um, afterwards I decided it was taking up too much space so I lifted it up and I used a small washi strip instead to mark our Target trip. That night, a couple of our friends drove up from San Diego to kind of do like a belated birthday celebration with me because they couldn't make it the day before. So I put that on the half box. I just marked where we went for dinner. And then at the very bottom, I put down a boba sticker from Paper Bear Co. to mark that we got some ding tea at the end of the night. The boba sticker didn't fit very well in that space though, so I trimmed off a little bit of the full box and shifted everything up slightly so that I could make enough room for that sticker. That was it for the week, so now I move on to filling out my sidebar. I definitely had a hard time choosing what happy moments I wanted to put in my sidebar because there were so many great things that happened this week. It was such an eventful and fun week um, for sure. And yeah, now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in the kit. I do have quite a lot left over because this was such a full kit, but as usual, I will definitely save it to give away later on. And now I'm doing a Viv Wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that's in this spread. As you could probably tell, I just tried to pull in as much foiling as I could for this spread because I just wanted it to be like super extra for my birthday and I think it worked. Um, ultimately, I really love how this turned out even though it was so hard and so frustrating like I mentioned earlier. Um, I seriously was like, I'm gonna throw this planner away. Like I was so angry, but I'm glad I just took a break, gave myself some time and then came back to it with kind of a fresh start. So I think in the end, I really, really love how it turned out overall. And yeah, so anyways, that is it for today. I'm gonna stop rambling now because I feel like this video is gonna be so long and yeah, please let me know if you have any questions, if I forgot to mention anything. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.